<sighs> I don't really want to play my main while waiting around for the new Rageblade and AD carry items. It's just made the current live patch so dull while everyone has fun on PBE with good ping and stuff. If only there was a champion I really liked playing other than AD Fred. Gwen! This video is about Gwen. Gwen is the best champion in this game. I mean, I exaggerate a bit. A little bit of hyperbole never hurt anyone. I think. But what I meant to say was, Gwen is my favourite champion to play in this game. At least in their normal way. She's a curious case for me because I started playing her on the PBE and, similar to now, I couldn't care to play the live patch in the two weeks where she was on PBE. Then she got nerfed, and I couldn't care less. But the whole time, I've never looked up a Gwen guide, and I've only drawn from my own experiences and experimenting when it comes to builds and strategies, because that's a fun way to approach a champion you really like. Don't take the fun of customization away from me! Be gone with you! I want to learn this one myself. This had me making really weird builds just to see what would, and definitely wouldn't, work, and caused me to have weird takes like Riftmaker sucks. Look, I get that all the pros build Riftmaker, but do you have to ping my mythic every time I build something different? God. But that's not the point. Sure, playing my way this whole time has granted a new dimension of enjoyment when playing this champion. And mind, I usually hate new champions. Hang on. Does she still count as new? But this one? Gwen? It's just so fun! I don't know what it is about me and auto attack champions. Yes, I'm putting Fresh in that category, you cannot stop me. But I just love them. Kiting or orb walking, moving and attacking, whatever you want to call it, is just satisfying to do. You know what else is satisfying? High damage skill shots. And one more thing, dashes that can be used to manipulate those skill shots. Gwen does all of this. Yes, Gwen's Q is a skill shot. I wish more players knew that. She doesn't have hard CC and only has a slow on her ultimate, meaning it's a little harder for her to guarantee her max health magic damage or her flat true damage on any given target. Unless your teammates come with stuns. Or... You come with a stun. So, you combine rampant auto attacking, high reward skill shots, albeit at a close range, with frequent and rewarding dashes? You have just made the most fun champion to play! Yeah, yeah, there are other champions that technically tick these boxes, but they aren't as fun. Sometimes dashes get too much and they feel a little unfair. There's more satisfaction in those singular hits and dashes than any streak of multiple dashes. Not dissimilar to how hitting a first person shooter meat shot feels better than tracking someone with a machine gun. But you still get those fun auto attacks, and I haven't even talked about how open this leaves Gwen in terms of builds. It's almost upsetting how many people stick to the same Riftmaker Nash's builds for consistency. She technically has synergy with all of these. Like, every stat. You're not gonna build AD on her, really. Or maybe you would. But given her kinda crazy attack speed and mobility, it's not awful, either. It functions. Going high AP and ability haste lets you hone those Q send hits and spam them out while you dash more frequently. But you could kinda just go much tankier and let the percentage damage carry you where needed, with some flat true damage to scare off the squishies. Enemies have built tanky? Void Staff and Abyssal Mask will cut them down, allowing your percentage magic damage to shred them up. And if they're stacking magic resistance? Well, it's equally viable to just stack on the AP and let the true damage rip and tear. Now, we haven't talked about a certain ability in Gwen's kit. You know, the... How do you describe it? This card is unaffected by card effects. Gwen is immune! It's been over 10 years since Yasuo started deleting projectiles. Xin Zhao's rework let him ignore all damage from outside his zone, challenging someone to a 1v1. And Gwen... is immune. And I'm just thinking... I'm just saying... Um... I think... Gwen's W takes a lot of skill. Okay, okay, listen. I don't know why she gains armor and magic resist in the zone. Honestly, I think they could have removed that instead of some of the other stuff they nerfed, but they gave Hecarim's W resistances too for some reason, so who cares? But since her damage and healing nerf some time ago, most champions, especially top lane juggernauts, can just kind of walk into the zone and beat her up? All I'm saying is, players that complain about it in all chats are usually the same players that do a full combo against the Gwen W to no effect. And the ones who counter it by walking in... usually don't have anything to whine about. 
Of course, if your thing is range, then this is Gwen's temporary retaliation as she's pretty freaking melee outside of her ultimate. The range of things you can do with Gwen's W makes it a really fun thing to use. Do I cover my approach till I get close? Do I wait for the optimal distance for an EW, placing the border between myself and even their melee champions? Do I save it for an escape? Do I hold it until their major ADC starts looking at me? It's fun. Okay, Yasuo players, back me up here. Hasagi! Hasagi! I never said anything about balance. In fact, the most I hear from Gwen players is about how weak she is. But that's most mains of any champion, to be fair. I'm happy to just live obliviously to the meta. Under false, or maybe not false pretense, that my alterations to my builds, runes, and playstyles will be what makes a difference to Gwen's performance where I am, and I can deal with further obstacles when they hit me. I don't play ranked and my motivation to play ranked is the lowest it's ever been with League since I first installed it. Yet I could see myself playing Gwen in ranked because playing my best with a champion I really like to play is the kind of ideal approach I'd have when trying to play ranked. More for the fun of a semi-competitive environment rather than any kind of ranked goal though. Even though I know how long I've delayed this video already, there is one more point that's come up that I have to address. While playing Gwen, and this has been even pointed out by a comment before, even though there are champions that would come to mind much more vividly for this, playing Gwen with her in-fight sustain from passive, her preference to target AoEs and tanks for more damage output and thus more healing, as well as her auto-attacking, skill shots and freedom of movement, have me feeling very, very similar to how it felt to play Aatrox before his rework. It's an extremely hard thing to explain to be honest, but approaching games and amidst teamfights, there is this unshakable similarity that is probably a big part of why I like playing Gwen so much. It's not the revive that I miss, or anything that a lot of people like to say, it's that teamfight and dueling vibe that I miss, and I'm glad at least part of it can still be felt. If you don't know about Aatrox pre-rework, I do have a video about that exact topic. I actually have a few more champions whose designs I absolutely love, and some of them are newer than you might think, so if you'd like to drop a like or a subscribe to hear some League Boomer rant about stuff, please, feel free. I feel like not enough people give Gwen enough credit, especially with everyone always building her the same or focusing on weird things like win rates and competitive viability, when we can just kick back and enjoy a damn fun champion. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to the channel members, Light, AJBeat91, Warsquid, Genocide, Ultimate Ground, Kaide, Boblax, My Dad, N Era, Cat with AK, Chloe M8, Imprilius, and Gentleman Zeta for supporting the channel. Thank you again.